Hey guys, welcome back to Modeling from the Ensign's Chair. I'm Will. I'm actually uh, going to be doing a little bit of a mini update here, so I'm going to call this episode 7.5 uh, because it's not quite getting into anything new. I'm still working on uh, the lighting that I talked about last episode. I'm doing the internal lighting on my saucer. I uh, started putting together the um, lighting kit uh, from Tenet Control, so I'm going to show you where I'm at right now just give you an idea of what I'm working on and uh, I've got a couple of ideas that I'm kind of uh, working with so I want to put it out there and let you see what I'm working on so give me a minute put you on the table we'll take a look all right everybody so here's my current setup of where I'm at uh, you can see I've got the uh, nav lights working uh, for off the tenant controls board which I've done a temporary setup over here let me turn this light on a minute let's see a little bit all right, but I've got a temporary setup over here. I've just got the uh, tenant controls board hot glued to this piece of cardboard for now, and uh, the two switches wired into a battery. And that's all that's running the setup right now. Um, I haven't wired in the uh, bottom half. I've still got to uh, wire all these nabs together and, and run a wire to the top half, and then that'll all be working together. Uh, but my main focus over the past couple days has just been getting uh, these nav lights working working on my uh, impulse crystal and also my impulse engines and getting that all working um, so let me show you where I'm at, I'll cut this light back off and uh, let me turn off this other light see how that looks. All right but again I just got a flashlight under here right now you can see where we did that Rayathon effect in the front there and uh, I'm gonna hit this first switch and uh, we'll see if we get that impulse crystal to light up you can see it lights up. Uh, it's got that amber color to it. And here in a second it's going to kick into uh, the blue. And what I've done is uh, this actually comes with just the amber LEDs for this uh, impulse crystal deck and I don't like that. Uh, fortunately the kit came with two of the bicolor uh, lights. So what I've done is I've wired this light or the impulse crystal to be the same as the uh, deflector dish so it'll change colors in unison with the deflector dish and now you can see it's changed over that blue I know it's a little washed out on the camera kinda hard to see um, but we've got that and then uh, hit this wire again or hit this button again and we'll get the uh, impulse engines to cut on and you can see those are lighting up I still gotta do quite a bit of light blocking back here but uh, just wanna do a light test on it make sure it's gonna look good before I started doing the uh, additional light blocking and I've got the photo etch grills that are going to go over these, uh, the back here too on these impulse decks. It's going to make it look real nice. Uh, but you can see both those lit up there. And then uh, we'll hit this button again. You see that impulse cuts out. And then once I get everything else wired up, uh, I believe at this point the uh, warp grills will light up. And I'll hit the button again. Warp grills go out. Impulse light. Impulse engines come back on and hit the button one more time and we'll see uh, everything start to power down. The impulse deck goes out and then uh, this impulse crystal should also cut out. Or maybe I gotta hit the button one more time. And we'll see that just kind of fade out. Uh, the other thing I want to show you before I turn this light back on is uh, I had an idea turn this light on for a second um, as you know I've been working on these phaser banks and uh, you know these phaser banks using these beads have this hole in them and I just decided well I wonder if I can stick a piece of fiber optic through there and I took a let's see it was a uh, 130 seconds drill bit and sure enough, I was able to drill through there and stick a piece of uh, 0.03 fiber optic in there. And uh, the effect I get is, I don't know if this will show up too well on camera. But I think you can see that light. As you see, that can light up. So I think I'm going to do my phaser banks this way. Don't know yet if I'm just going to uh, hook them up to a switch or if I'm going to uh, get into a little bit of programming here uh, like I've seen people doing with some of these boards and uh, get some kind of sequence going on them but uh, 
I think I'm going to do that with all my phaser banks. Just go ahead and uh, put that piece of fiber optic in there. Let me see if I cut this light out, if you can see it a little better. There you go. Yeah, it's a little better like that. But, uh, yeah. So I kind of like the way that looks. Uh, so I think I'm going to do a little, little exploration with that, and a little testing, and uh, get a control board and see if I can't get some kind of program going with that. Uh, if anybody's got something similar going like that, please share it with us below. And let me know, because uh, I think that's something I'm going to be interested in doing with this model, is uh, making those phaser banks do a little bit more, along with the photon launchers, uh, when I get to the uh, secondary hall. So anyway, just wanted to give a quick update. That's where I'm at. I'm still going to be working on wiring all this together, getting the uh, bottom half of the saucer wired up. And uh, i still got a couple more LEDs i still got to work on uh, doing my... Uh, spotlights um, to shine out so got a bit more work to do on this but I uh, just want to give you a quick update so uh, if you uh, like what you see here or uh, you appreciate any information just uh, hit the like button below and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll get the updates when they come out automatically so until next time keep modeling